two wire A and B are of same material. Their lengths are in the ratio of 1 is to 2 and the diameter are in the ratio 2 is to 1. If they are pulled by the same force, then the increase in length will be in the ratio of and there are four options. Now here are two wires A and B and their length and diameter are given and they are applied by the same force. Now we have to find the increase in length. Now we know that the Young's modulus Y is equal to F by A that is stress divided by strength that is delta L by L. So here delta L is the increase in length and L small l is the original length. Now from here we can find F by A so that is F L divided by A delta L. Now from here we can write delta L is equal to F L divided by A Y and here the diameter is given so we know that the area of cross section A is equal to pi d square by 4 if d, d is the diameter then this is equal to 4 f l divided by pi d square y. So the increase in length that is delta l is equal to 4 f l by pi d square y. Now here are two words a and b now for where A and where B the ratio of the lens that is LA is to LB is given and this is equal to 1 is to 2 and the ratio of the diameters that is DA is to DB equal to 2 is to 1. Now we can find the ratio of their delta L that is delta L A divided by delta L B. Now delta L A is equal to 4 F. F is same because both the wires are pulled by the same force. So F and the length of wire A is L A divided by pi D A square and the both the materials are of same. So the Young's modulus is same and for the wire b delta l b is equal to 4 f l b divided by pi d b square y now 4 f pi y cancels from both sides so this is equal to l a divided by l b into db divided by da square now we know that la by lb is given and this is equal to 1 is to 2 so la by lb is 1 by 2 and da is to db is 2 is to 1 so db divided by da is 1 by 2 so this is equal to 1 by 2 square and this is equal to half into 1 by 4 and that is equal to 1 by 8 so the delta la is to delta L B equal to 1 is to 8. So the option C is correct answer.